Welcome! In this video, we'll be discussing transitioning from Flojo to FCS Express and some of the differences between them. Even though FCS Express has many new capabilities and is quite easy to use, we know that learning new software can be hard. You might be used to working in a certain way, and it can be frustrating if you cannot immediately figure out what you want to do. FCS Express can perform any analysis that is required to interpret your flow cytometry data, but it works in a different way compared to Flojo and you'll need to take a slightly different approach to data analysis. We're going to help you and take you step by step through the process and major points when moving from Flojo to FCS Express in this video so you can get up to speed as quickly as possible. Before we show you the major similarities and differences as you move from Flojo to FCS Express, I'd like to give you some background on FCS Express. It runs on Mac and PC, runs data from all flow cytometers, including spectral data from SciTech, Sony, and other spectral instruments. FCS Express can also read a wide variety of image cytometry data, and there's no limit to the number of parameters or the events in the data files when performing analysis. So let's move to talking about data analysis. The first thing we do with flow cytometry data analysis is we load data files into our analysis software platform. As you can see in Flojo, we have data files that are dragged into the work list, and we do the same thing in FCS Express, except in FCS Express, it's called the data list. Data list allows you to group, order, and organize your data files in a flexible and efficient manner that allows you to rapidly process your data set. There will be videos on using the data list to organize your data later on in the video series. Once loaded, we want to display that data in plots. Most of the plots that are available in Flojo are also available in FCS Express. For example, contour, density plots, histograms, and more. Sometimes different terminology is used for the same thing. For instance, zebra plots in Flojo are called contour with black and white formatting in FCS Express. In Flojo, you might be used to using a pseudo color plot and in FCS Express, we call it a density plot. FCS Express has specific plots for cell cycle and proliferation, similar to Flojo. In addition to the standard analysis plots you're used to, FCS Express has additional plot types. In FCS Express, including scatter, scatter with regression, Levy Jennings, violin, box and whisker, and more. Now, once we have our data displayed, we're able to do gating. You'll notice that FCS Express has similar types of gates that Flojo has. Ellipse, rectangular, quadrant, polygon, freeform, and all of these work similar in both software packages. Also notice that Flojo has a hierarchy-based list of gates, as does FCS Express. FCS Express utilizes the gate view or navigator, while Flojo lists the gates on a file-by-file -file basis. One difference is that Flojo default is to apply gates per file where FCS Express are applied to all the files by default. In FCS Express, it is possible to simply make gates data file specific in order to associate them with specific files. Much like how in Flojo, you'd drag a gate to the top of the file list to apply it globally to all the files. In addition, FCS Express you can set a preference so that the gate default is data file specific, giving almost identical behavior to what you're used to in Flojo. Before or after you've loaded data and created gates, you may want to do compensation or unmixing. If you're used to using Flojo, you may be familiar with their compensation wizard that is capable of doing compensation when using negative and positive controls. SCS Express has a similar wizard. There's also an additional feature in FCS Express that some of you may have used in other software products, which is a slider to change the compensation on a specific plot or data file. To adjust the compensation in Flojo, you would go to the compensation matrix to make the change. In FCS Express, you would right click and choose compensation to pull up familiar sliders to make the change. You may even find you're performing the same type of change you do in Flojo, but with less steps and mouse clicks in FCS Express. Now once you have 
data, gates, compensation, and visualizations ready to go. The next part of any analysis is to get the stats that you want from the data you are analyzing. SDS Express and Flojo have access to the same set of descriptive statistics you're used to. In Flojo, these are generally displayed on your plot and next to your samples in the workspace. Where in FCS Express, they are also displayed on your plot, but will also be accessed in statistic windows. Additionally, you may be used to using the table editor in Flojo to select certain statistics, to create custom statistics, and to assist in getting stats exported to other tools like Excel and Prism. With FCS Express, we do the same thing, but use an Excel-like spreadsheet within FCS Express itself that links up directly to your gates. Data updates in real time as gates and data change, and allows you to use all the familiar Excel formula references you're used to. That way, if you are already familiar with Excel, there's no need to learn new tools for working with statistics in FCS Express, and most times, you'll never need to copy and paste into other software when you use FCS Express. A difference between FCS Express and Flojo is that in addition to the standard statistics that can be generated in both Flojo and FCS Express, FCS Express allows you to perform statistical tests directly in the software, offering visualizations for box and whisker, violin, beeswarm, and more based on the spreadsheet you create in FCS Express. In Flojo, you might often be copy and pasting from table editor to Prism, Excel, and PowerPoint to achieve the same goals. So again, a difference between the two packages is that easily surmounted by changing the way you think about performing an analysis. Let's take a moment to recap the differences in workflows in FCS Express and in Flojo now that we've been introduced to various portions of analysis. In FCS Express, we can create a layout in which we visualize our final report and analysis workflow at the same time. In Flojo, you work with the gates, plots, and statistics first and put together your final report at the end. In the next two examples, we will show you the differences in these workflows practicalities. So if we build our Flojo workflow, you'll see that we start with our workspace. We have several files and you'll notice we need to create multiple plots as individual windows to create our gating. If we need to adjust or manage compensations, we open another window to manage. And to get our more advanced statistics, we have a further window for the table editor. All before we finally end up in the layout editor to bring it all together for exports and final reports. By contrast, you'll see in FCS Express, we can build up the same exact analysis, but the difference is, is that in FCS Express, everything is all contained into one layout, and you've made your final report while you're analyzing, so everything is organized. You'll notice that our statistics are right in the layout, and it looks very much like a PowerPoint presentation. We have organized our compensation spillover matrix, and all of the compensation wizards are on the right, and on the left, we have our data files organized in the data list. FCS Express utilizes many Microsoft Office-like features and places them all together in a familiar way. You'll notice on the bottom there are tabs, which are just like Excel, where you have multiple pages to report your analysis. So as analysis becomes more complex, you can simply add new plots and gates and all aspects of the layout across multiple pages and data files, all updated as gates and data change. Oftentimes, researchers choose to create a summary page where all of the most important information from your analysis is presented. By performing your analysis within FCS Express Layout, you have the added advantage that the next time you perform the same or similar analysis, you can use your prior work as a template for your new analysis. As another example of the FCS Express workflow, you see here you're able to take one window, one program, and get all of the information presented, organized, and final results visualized. In this example, you'll see that we have 6-hour, 12-hour, and 18-hour data files. So we have multiple files that are being summarized into bar charts, line graphs, and pie charts, giving you statistical information that you're going to need from your data that also updates as gates and data change within the same software package. 
In summary, the biggest difference between Flowgel and SES Express is the workflow getting to the final result. So you have to change your thought process, but you will have all of the tools you're used to using in Flowgel and then some. You're going to build the layout in FCS Express with the end result in your mind. Building a layout will also prepare you for future analysis and experiment repeats as a layout in FCS Express can also be considered a template. You have the analysis and can easily bring new and different data into it at any time without having to rebuild the entire analysis. You'll also find with FCS Express, there is no need to use multiple programs to get the statistics, visualization, and high resolution graphics researchers need because all of that functionality is integrated into FCS Express and present in the direct export. With FCS Express, analysis is your final result. We have a series of videos that will continue discussing the differences between Flojo and FCS Express in greater detail on our website, and I hope to see you in other videos. If you have any questions about what was presented in this video or any other video, or any questions about FCS Express in general, please email us at support at